Hey guys, today I want to make a video about the Velmobile. Currently inside, it's 74 degrees. Probably around 45 outside, but we're going to find out. Set the thermometer out there. Close our hatch. And then we're going to wait a few minutes and check the temperature outside. Beautiful view out here though. Nice old country road. Wind blowing from the rear. Uh, it's been about 48 minutes of riding. Yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. So after about the first 20, 30 minutes, it's probably above 60 degrees in here. Can I give you a view out the side windows? Where's the front? I got the pin lock visor on here, so the middle of the visor doesn't fog up, but you'll see the corners are kind of foggy. The side window over here, that's kind of fogged up. Like I said, it's pretty warm in here and chilly outside. Very windy outside as well. Probably 20 mile an hour, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Maybe not 30, but probably around 20. But today I'm just going out for a ride. I haven't gone in like a week. Well, not really a week, but like five days. To me, it feels like longer, but. It's just a weekend in there, and I just missed Friday, so I'm out here Monday, riding around. I figure I'd do a temperature comparison of the temperature inside the Velmobile uh, compared to the temperature outside the Velmobile. I can definitely tell you for a fact that I'm in a t-shirt right now, so, yeah. And I got sweatpants because it's got footholds down there, so footholds in a lot of air so you know it could be it could be warmer in here if I got the foothold covers from the little build at NL but right now I gotta save my money up for other things that are going on right now I'll make another video about that but um I know I had said that I was gonna do some off-road videos of the Kawasaki Z125 Pro but um recently I had to sell that I'm going to get some money for something really quick. Let's kind of see where temperature is at. It was 72 a couple minutes ago. 68. It takes about 5-10 minutes for this thing to freaking, well probably longer than that, for this thermometer to actually pick up the temperature outside. Corner Weather Channel, it's about 45, 48 outside. So. This road's free dead usually, so that's why I decided to do it on this road, but the wind's really blowing from the rear. and It's, not, it's fine if you're going forward, but since the rear is open to let ventilation through and let you breathe and stuff, it, I'm getting a cold breeze from the rear into my cabin up here. So, let's see what temperature it is. This thing's definitely cold to the touch now. 59. I'll definitely tell you it's no 59 degrees outside. It was 48 when I started when I got the temperature on there on my thermometer out there. My fingers are starting to get cold just holding the phone up here to record this. Man, just look at the view. 
really nice. Right at sunset too. See a sun in the background of my mirrors. The clouds have pretty they are. Nice farm, freshly harvested fields. Looks like they planted clover. Yeah, there's some clover over there. They must be growing some feed. Nice view of the mountains. Take a look at what the temperature is now. It's definitely 57 in about six minutes. I think it's taking forever to read the temperature. This is actually a carbon monoxide detector, so it's really meant to be mounted inside your home, not really meant to take a rapid temperature reading. I mean, I have a coat with me, but it just got too hot with the coat on, so I ride without the coat on in here most days. It just gets too warm. Now, this road I'll take straight out, and then I'll climb that mountain there. I'll go down the other side, going about 50 miles an hour usually. But it's just a typical ride for me. We'll give it up to 10 minutes to give me a temperature. It was kind of boring, but it was just a moment it would take temperature faster, but... It's not. You can definitely tell it's a little bit colder out here. But yeah. They probably think I need help or something. Some people will just drive by really slow take pictures and stuff but they'll probably do a u-turn at some point come around but we'll see hopefully not kind of ruin the video then because i have to get their permission to post them in the video and whatnot i definitely see my thermometer out there is shaking because of all the wind Definitely a really fast wind. Fifty-two. Okay, well, I mean either way, you saw the temperature when I got it up. It was about twenty degrees warmer than that. Inside the automobile, so you know. That being said. You're always going to be warmer inside the snowmobile than you will on a regular bike. Now, since it is windy today, I'm going a little bit slower today because the snowmobiles kind of act like sails in the wind and get blown around and stuff. So, well, thanks for watching.